Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you this simple pattern using a single crochet and a mini bin stitch. This is a really nice looking pattern and I think you can use it to crochet a blanket or a scarf or even a purse. This is a multiple row pattern so please watch till the end. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so for this pattern we are going to do multiples of 2 chains plus 1 or you can call odd number of chains. So here I am going to do 11 chains uh, to keep this video short. So I have 11 chains here. To start the first row we are going to insert the hook into the third chain from the hook. So 1, 2 and 3. Insert the hook and pull the yarn. There we go. I have two loops on the hook, yarn over and insert the hook again into the same stitch and then pull the yarn. So now you have four loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook like this. And then we are going to chain one to secure that cluster. This stitch here is called mini bean stitch. Skip the next chain and in the next stitch you are going to insert the hook, pull the yarn, yarn over, insert into the same chain, pull the yarn, you have four loops on the hook, yarn over again and pull through all the loops on the hook, chain one. We are going to continue doing this till the end of the row. I'll show you one more time. Skip the chain and in the next chain insert the hook, pull the yarn, yarn over, insert the hook into the same chain, not the previous chain or the next chain but the same chain and then we have four loops on the hook and Pull the yarn through all the loops on the hook. Chain 1 after that to secure that cluster. We're going to continue this pattern uh, till the end and I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, so here we are at the end of row 1. We finished it with the chain 1 to secure this last cluster. We are going to do one more chain. So it will look like you have two chains here. Turn around your work. Now pay close attention to where we are going to insert the hook. If you look here, this was the chain that was the chain that secured the cluster. But this is the chain that's actually the top of this cluster. So we are going to insert the hook in that. Insert the hook here and pull up the loop. yarn over, insert the hook into the same space, pull up a loop, you have four loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops. Chain one to secure that cluster. Now skip the next stitch, this one here, skip this one and then insert the hook under these two loops. That's the top of the next cluster. Insert the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert the hook into the same space, pull up a loop, four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all the loops on the hook, chain one. Let me show you one more time.
let's finish till the end and I'll meet you at the end of this row. We are here at the end of row 2. We finished it with the chain 1 after the cluster. Row 3 is basically going to be a repeat of the row 2 that we just did. Let's do a chain 1 and turn around the work. Like I said for row 3, it is a repeat of row 2. So let's do that. Uh, take your time and I'll meet you at the end of row 3. Okay, here we are at the end of the row 3. The next row we are going to do is a single crochet in each of the stitches. So to do single crochet, we are going to just turn around the work. We're not going to do that extra chain 1 that we have been doing. Let's do a single crochet in the first stitch over here. And then in each of the stitches for this uh, entire row. Sometimes it can get a bit tight to put your hook inside those top of the cluster chains uh, or the stitches. Uh, just you know wiggle your hook in there and it, it should be fine. Here we are at the end of the row 4. To start the next row, chain 2. And then you're going to continue repeating row 1 to 4 as long as you need. Let me show you start of this row uh, just to get you started. Uh, I'll show you where to insert the hook uh, to start with your first stitch. Alright, like I said, you're going to continue the row 1, 2, 3 and 4 as many times as you want to get to the length that you need for your fabric. I started here with 11 stitches just to show you a small sample but you can go with as many stitches as you need as long as they are odd number of stitches. And there you have it. You now know how to make this beautiful pattern. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope you liked this video. Please let me know in the comments below. See you next time. Bye.